Hey guys, Coffee here, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be making a new series called Ursina Engine Documentation, or whatever I'm going to call it, I'm not sure yet, but this is, I guess, episode zero or something, I don't know, it's just showing the installation. So, first you want to open your uh, IDE of choice, I have VS Code and PyCharm, but PyCharm I'm going to be using because VS Code broke on me. So I'm going to open this and ignore this, right? I'm going to put this off to the side. Hey, you're not supposed to be open. We're going to right click the desktop, new folder, just name it whatever. So test file, whatever. Let's just drag it into our, okay, for PyCharm, we got to open it. Desktop and then our scene, stop. <laughs> um, desktop text whoops it's supposed to be test whatever anyways so i have it requires python 3.6 or newer and you'll have to go to python.org slash downloads for the newer downloads and whatnot right now i have 3.10 so that's pretty well and here's how to install it open your console Ter terminal that's right there we go you'll want to type pip install Ursina. I didn't spell pip right. Pip install Ursina. U-R-S-I-N-A. Let it download. And I already have it downloaded, so it's not going to re-download. Now keep in mind, things will break if you want to download the very newest, uh, like very, very newest not release thing. And you'll just download from the GitHub instead of this command line. Now, you can edit the, edit the source by taking in and cloning it and whatnot, and then just setting it up and whatever you want. But if you also want extras, you'll do pip install Ursina brackets extras. And I actually don't have that downloaded completely, but it's whatever. And it looks like it broke. It's whatever. I don't use it, and I've been completely fine without it. Now, let's do Python. Or, okay, let's say this thing broke for you, right? And you need to use pip3. You can do python-m pip install Ursina. And it works the exact same way, just if you used pip3 instead of pip or whatever. And that's basically it for the installation. Um, what else would they need? Oh, okay. So if you have some other problems, like if Arsena installed successfully, but Python cannot find it when trying to run a script, if you're using a virtual environment, VNV, make sure you're installing it to the VNV and not the default location. Alternatively, you can just not use a VNV. You don't have to. Some people like to, I don't, I don't care for it, but yeah, that's really all you need. So yeah, have a good day.